Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to House Flipper. This game should now be released for you all, if I'm not mistaken. You should all be able to play this game and really, really thoroughly enjoy it. And I have a slight confession to make. The version that I used in the last episode was actually the beta version, not the full version which I should have been using, and so we've got to start all over again. However, I'm hoping that the DLC is in here somewhere. Um, there is a new DLC that they released with the game upon release, so we should be able to take a look at that. I'm just curious if there is anything else that we have got different. Now, I'm not going to make you sit through me playing the the four missions all over again. I'm curious if there are any new missions, though. That would certainly make a difference. We got that one. And there we go. Now, this is this is much more like it. Look at this. All these different houses that we've got. We've, we've had a look at that one, the Pink Kingdom. We've seen that before. That was the, the Barbie house. Um, uh, we've not seen those two down there before. 200,000, those are. Um... Some of these houses we have done in the beta, or we've done similar houses anyway. Uh, some of them we have not done at all. So the cheapest one is 23,178 and we've got 22,200. So we do need to earn $1,000. Now we know this one, Sarah Lewis, her ex-boyfriend stole her radiators. So I will, I think, just go through and do this one very, very quickly, because there doesn't look to be any differences between what we have seen for quite a while now, the, in the beta one, which I've been playing, um, and this new full updated version. And I'm really sorry that I didn't actually play this one in the last episode, but I don't think we've really missed a lot. So let me just go and deal with the stolen radiators, and then we can see if we've earned enough money to go and buy that first house. Five hundred and seventy-eight pounds and eighty-eight pence to complete the first order. So what we'll do is I'm going to go back to the house and I'm just going to go right round it and I'm going to do all the cleaning I can so that I can build that perk back up again that we did in the last episode. I won't subject you to it all. I will just run through and I will do cleaning as rapidly as I can. There we go. See, I've got the broom out already and I am away. So I'll just run round the outside and do this a minute. There. Just because it's a grotty, run-down hobble doesn't mean it can't be a clean and grotty, run-down hobble. It, clean and grotty, that doesn't really make any sense. Um, it, it can't be a clean... Just because it's a, a, a run-down hobble doesn't mean it has to be a grotty, run-down hobble. How's that? That that sounds a little bit better, I think. Uh, where we have a clean hobble here instead of a, a, a grotty one. Um, but yes, it, it's still it's still not the, not the best place, really, is it? Uh, just clean that. Let me just finish doing some more cleaning so that I've... Got maximum perks available. I really want to get all of them. There's, there's not very much actually left in here. And we will grab the next job. We got £500 for doing the last one, which was only actually just mounting a radiator. It, it does seem a bit sort of um, like cheating, really, just uh, getting a job like that. So let me go back to the mail. And what you can do is you can go back and you can do them again in order to generate some quick, easy cash, if that's what you want to do. But I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go and clean this garage a minute. Um, I do need to do the four jobs to be able to unlock painting, which is probably going to be quite useful. So let me just open that one. I don't think I can do anything in the rest of the house. Um, I've only got cleaning available, and the rest of the house is, is pretty polished up anyway. We have a new thing where we can clean the window with this one. I'm not really sure how we're supposed to use this. Uh, but yes, this is definitely a new thing. Oh, I see. You've got to click. Yeah, press and hold the mouse. And it does cleaning of the window. This thing's actually pretty cool. It's just... It's it's figuring out how to use it. I think it sort of... You just... Yeah. That, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to drag it. And it doesn't really want to drag. It wants to... Like there. It's, it's trying to push itself and trying to not push itself. So it, it, it is a little bit tricky in places here. But overall, I'd say that's pretty good. So we got this new thing here with cleaning of the windows, which I, I actually really like that. That's a, a thing that wasn't available in the, the beta version that I was playing yesterday. So there's one new thing that we've seen. Let me just finish polishing up all the floor and everything in here and we can get this job finished and earn another large pile of cash. 
Right, that one is now done, and we've earned £351, which is not too bad. It's still not quite enough to buy the other grotty hovel that will be available, and I reckon our grotty office is most likely still going to be... Although, this isn't the beta version anymore. This is the, the full version. There may be the odd bug in this one. Let's see. Uh, own photos. Yeah, okay, so you can, you can take photos. I haven't actually looked at that yet, so let's just take a look. So you've got the gallery right here. I uh, go to the camera. We can have a look around. Um, how, do, how do I move it? Click on the camera icon. New photo. And then open gallery. And there you got create photo from image. Okay, so that, that's the, the whole camera thing. So you can sort of take some good screenshots there if you want to. Um, and I'm looking around. And it would appear that we can no longer sort of burn through our cleaning thing by uh, cleaning the office. Because... Um, yeah, that's, that's no longer a thing. Um, it's all already clean and the dirt hasn't come back. So we're not going to get free cleaning points every time we come back to the house anymore. Three males. Ooh! Now we've got new stuff. Right, radiators we did and amaranth walls we did. So we'll do those. I did say that I was going to buy a house, but I actually quite like the idea of working through some new items. If, if we've got new jobs to do, I think that could be, you know, pretty good. So let me just go in here. We've seen this. This is all old news, this is. So I will quickly go through and um, assemble all of the radiators. And uh, there was a couple of... Um, wasn't it, was it all radiators or was it... No, there was a, there was a bathroom to do, wasn't there? Um, there was a radiator, a towel... Two radiators, a towel rack and a sink. I'll go and put these together in a minute and we'll earn a little bit more money. And we just put the trap in place underneath, and we are done. So those of you who really would actually like to see me doing all those jobs that I've just done, uh, by all means, go and watch the previous episode. Now, I've already used one uh, perk up here in faster tiling and panelling, and we could do faster mounting. No, I'm going to do the I'm going to do the in there as well because tiling is really painfully slow. I don't like doing that one at all. So let's just finish this job. There we go, complete. And we have now got enough money to buy our first house if we want to. However, I know I said in the last episode that I would aim to buy a house today. But considering that we've now got a load of extra jobs to do. We've got the Amaranth Walls, but the baby on the way, that's new. That's new. So I'm going to do this one. This unlocks the painting thing. Um, the, the, the whole baby on the way, uh, that's, that's definitely new. We've not done that one before. So I would like to do that one if we can. So let's just go into here. Now, we've got a device to mount in here. That was behind one of the cupboards. And there was another device in here. Oh, it's down there. Well, I didn't have that one before. This is a different one. They've moved it. It's in a different location now. So we'll just undo that one down there. And that one there. The painting itself, I won't make you sit through the first bit of painting. Um, we will deal with that another time. So let's just pop those in there like that so that we get all of them. If you don't do them like that, if you do them in the order that they're lit up, um, it does actually move to the screw on each one and then go back again. And it's it is it's a little bit slower doing it. I have noticed this. You can just sort of cut some corners when you're assembling. Um, doing it like that is um, you'd still be able to do it like that in real life, actually. Um, it's just a little bit quicker if we do it like that. Right, so there's one device mounted in there, and then there's another device mounted in here. Tass, in other rooms, we're done. But yeah, it was behind here. Now, last time, I moved that refrigerator out of the way, so I'm just going to move that one, and there it is. That's the one that we want. So we want to come down here. It's exactly the same, this one. There's another double socket rather than a single. I thought we had one of these as a single socket last time. Although, to be honest, I don't actually remember fully if it was a single or a double. I... I thought that we had one of each. Look, see if I put that one in, it then goes down to the screw over there, so I'm going to just move those in as well so that we can do all three of them up. Just to uh, speed things along a little bit like that. And, and we can do that one up, and we can do that one up as well. And then we push that back into place, put these two screws in, and then the faceplate goes on on the top. And all we got left now is to do the painting. Now, last time I painted amaranth around the windows and I did grey in the rest of the room. And I think I will probably just do exactly the same again. The problem with the painting is that because we have no perks, it is going to take a little bit of time. So we're going to have to go here into paint. Now, we needed, if I remember correctly, we need grey 
I haven't actually double checked to make sure it's all okay. But yes, we want some grey there and we want some Amaranth Adventure. Now, last time we were actually able to do this all with one, uh, one pot of paint for each colour. That's all we use. Now, the first perk that we want to get with painting is the... the um, oh, no, where are we? We're building painting. Yes, that one right there. Don't waste paint on already painted wall. That, I'd say, is the most important one. Then we go for two walls at the same time and then faster painting after that. So we've got to do 23 walls in order to get this bit. And this is the bit that um, sort of... I would say this is the best perk out of all of them. I mean, the others are absolutely fantastic. Once you get your painting all done, uh, once you get the perks built up, like I said in the last episode, I think, um, once the perks are all built up, it's um, painting is absolutely brilliant. It's one of the best ways to make money on um, doing fast jobs for people because the it's, it's really, really fast. It's really, really efficient as well. You can buy a house and just paint a few of the rooms and make a big pile of money. So um, I will go through and I will paint this room because we've already done this just yesterday, just last time, so two days ago. And then once I've done that, um, we've got a brand new job to do. And we will go we'll do that new job and we'll see if we get any other new jobs as well. I'd like to work through the jobs first before we start buying houses, just to see if there's anything new in there. We do have the DLC, which I... I haven't seen any sign of it yet, but I'm thinking maybe it will turn up in a little bit. Uh, which is the... Um, there we go. Now we won't waste any paint. That's much better. Um, yeah, the, the DLC is basically um, bomb shelters. Some of the houses have bomb shelters. Now what I can do is I can just press and hold the mouse button. I don't have to worry about excess paint being used where I don't want it to be. So let me just finish off this room. And we are done. It doesn't look very pleasant in here, but still, it's good enough. 826 pounds, which means that we've got plenty to buy our first house. But we're going to go and take a look at this other job that is available and see what that one is. A new negotiation skill, that is because we've completed the job. Option to negotiate price, that would actually be pretty good. Uh, we've also got another one here, so we'll do 10% extra payment for the order to get us a little bit of extra cash. Uh, let's go and take a look at what else we have got. So there was the, there was one... Oh, we've got three males now. Right. Additional walls. Walls to knock down. Baby on the way. And if I come out of there and I take a look at the houses, we've got over here... We've got abandoned house 23178. We've got over a thousand that we could use to do that house up. We've got a burned house there. Um... I'm thinking that a bit more cash would be pretty good. House with uninvited guests. Connoisseur's house. Uh, I don't know what else. We've got just married, unwashed, um, garage with bunker. Garage with bunker. I think that is something to do with the, um, yeah, with bunker. This is the DLC. Fallout bunkers underneath. Um, they did it as a joke. They actually did it as an April Fool's joke. And then they decided, actually, this is a pretty good idea. So they've gone and added in some of these bunkers in underneath the houses. So we do have... The, the DLC is all there. Uh, we just don't actually... House that is hiding something. Is this one got a bunker as well? Uh, I don't know. But that's like 60 grand for that house. And we, we, we don't actually have 60 grand available. No, we, we're looking at these kind of properties up here. But we're not going to do that yet. No, 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 no. We're going to go into the mail. There we go. Right. Additional walls. Walls knocked down. Baby, we'll do baby on the way first. My beautiful wife's pregnant with our first child. We've also just bought a new three-bedroom home, which requires some repairs and decorating. We've no time to spare to clean and renovate the house, so we need your help. Can you please clean the house and set up a nursery, complete with a crib, changing table, and maybe some toys? We know we will have a girl, so can you please paint the room light pink? Right, okay. Um, how do you know she likes pink? She might not like pink. She, she, she might like blue. You never know. Yeah, don't make assumptions. Never make assumptions. Right, we're going to go through first, and I think we're going to do this sort of room by room. Now, I've got one cleaning perk that shows up some of the dirt on the minimap, but it doesn't actually show all the dirt on the minimap. Um, I mean, it is a good perk to have, that showing some of the dirt on the minimap, but I would actually prefer 
to be able to um i think we want to go a little bit faster so i think the next perk that i get for cleaning will definitely be cleaning faster um goes through here right uh, along the bottom of those doors there that's pretty good right that's um okay this room is done this room is all finished so we've got this room in here. Now, this one is looking pretty grim. We've got to clean the dirt and we've got to clean the window in here. So let's just... <laughs> you've got a baby on the way and you're living like this? I mean, yes, I can understand why you've called me in. But if, you, if you're going to live like this without having somebody else to clean up after you, then, yeah, you, yeah um, that's, that's just nasty. It, it really is. Yeah, you clean up after yourselves a bit. It, it doesn't hurt anything. It's quite all right. You can just, like, clean a few things every now and then. Have I got any more dirt here? I don't think I... Oh, well, I've got a little bit on there. And it looks like this room is done. So then to clean the window, we've got to use this other tool, which is like this. Uh, there we go. we got that one right there. Um, and it, it does sort of behave in a very strange fashion. No, it's... Look, see? That bit there. And I'm never quite sure why... And I don't really know why it's... um. It keeps trying to flip itself round. I think you just got to go slowly with it. If you go slowly, it does kind of work. Oh well, I, I can actually I can go I can go fairly quick with it. Um, it's just you got to make sure that you get all of the windows. So sort of doing it systematically would probably work better, just to stop it from like missing tiny little bits. There we go, window cleaned. Excellent. I really do like that little mechanic that they've added for cleaning the, the windows. That is quite good. So what have we got to do? Um, we've got five tasks in other rooms. This room right here. Whoa. Seriously, dude. Um, oh, I can do remove there. What have I got? Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Oh, I've just got cell. I've got the cell thing. Um, let's just dispose of some of this rubbish. And that one. Right, I think that's all of the disposing done. And then we want to clean... So we just polish down these surfaces here. There's some bits around there and sort of bits up onto the wall up there. Uh, the bed as well is looking a little bit grim. What about the ceiling? Well, at least they haven't got anything on the ceiling. They've got some stuff on the furniture around here. This, this It's not great, is it? It's, it's really not great. And I, I really do think that um, we could do with some faster cleaning. What's, what have I got in the way of cleaning? Uh, cleaning... I've still got 90, 93 things to clean before I get another perk, which is going to take a little while. I think I should have gone faster cleaning before I got the one on the map. It would definitely have sped things up a little bit. Uh, I've got one bit over here. Oh, there. It was on the end of it. Right. According to the mini-map, it's all clean in here. According, oh, it's uh, clean dirt 95%. Oh, there's, uh, there's a bit on the window. There we go. 100%. And now we've got to clean a window. It's not that one. It must be this one down here. Clean window. There we go. Right. Uh, let's try going right round the edge first. Like this. There we go. Yep. And up. And I'm just going to kind of run it across like this, I think. This seems to be working. Kind of like this. It's it kind of like, uh, you know, cultivating a field. You, you've got to do it systematically. You can't, you can't just run willy-nilly around. I missed a bit that was right there, and it said that it finished. That bugs me. It, it bugs me when it does things like that, because I know that it wasn't actually finished. Um, but anyway, we've done that room. That room there is... It should all be done. Is it done? Yes, that room is all done. So we've got... We've got a small room here. Let's go into this room. Ah, this is the baby room. We've got, yeah, we've got items to place and all sorts in there. So we'll leave that one for a minute. Let's go to this room here. What have we got in here? Uh, clean, remove, and a clean the windows. Right, okay, so we'll, we'll do this room first. And we'll dispose of all the trash on the floor. There we go. And dispose of more trash. Yeah, more trash. Right, that's all the trash. Next, we will go to the actual cleaning malarkey. Let me go down through here. We'll be along the sofa. The sofa cleans up pretty quick. And what do we got back over this way? We've got some there. Uh, right, well, that's going pretty well. And then down under there. See, some of these bits on the floors, it takes quite a while to clean them off. And then other bits, it doesn't take very long at all. They, they, they sort of clean up pretty fast. 
And then we've got more grubbiness around the kitchen. These people live like pigs. They really do. I mean, look at this. It's absolutely disgusting. How can you live like... You've got a baby on the way. Learn how to clean up after yourself. Seriously. It's just nasty. It's, it's just wrong. It really is. Right. Let's um, we clean this window here. I've got that little bit down in the corner there. There we go. It doesn't seem to like going side to side. Going up and down seems to work a little bit easier. It's, it, you know, the, getting the direction right is not brilliant. Um, but it, it seems to do all right. It's, um, it's to do with the mouse control, really. The mouse control is kind of the, the big issue here, I think, that I'm having. Um, it's a little bit sensitive. The, for the rest of the game, mouse control is absolutely fine. But for this, it's, it's not brilliant. Mouse control is a little bit tricky for that. I, I do like it. I, I, I do like this. But, um, yeah, mouse, mouse control is the bit that's making us a little bit tricky. Look at this. Look, see? I, and it's, I'm trying to control it by the front of the squeegee bit. And I don't think that is actually where the center of the control is. Which is why I keep, like, it, it keeps twisting in strange directions. Because that's not actually the middle of where it should be controlled. So maybe I need to be looking at... Yeah, so it's, it's not the front of the squeegee. This is why I'm having so much trouble with it. It's just behind the front. You know, see where it sort of goes... It changes from orange to blue? Use that as your mouse pointer and it seems to work. That seems to do it. Right, so we've done all of this room in here. How much have I got left? 24 cleans. 24 cleans and I'll be able to do this. So that's all done. That's all done. We've just got the baby room left. Just the baby room and then we can go and um, we're finished. We've we got a bit. I think we, what have we got? We got uh, Yeah, we've got painting. So we've got a, a few items to just pick up in here. There we go. And then we want to get cleaning again. Oop, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, can I sell that? Can I sell this one? Sell. I don't want to earn money this way. Uh, I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> okay, apparently we're not allowed to just go into somebody else's house and sell their furniture. Um, who who would who would have guessed? Um, they the the whole reason that it's got that I'm not that kind of guy and all that is because when the game first came out, for those of you who are new to this series, uh, if you go and look at like the really old stuff um, that we did right back when they first sort of started releasing uh, beta versions of this game. Um, you can... It used to be a way that you could, like, generate some income. you go into somebody's house and just sell all of their furniture, and it was a really fast way to earn a bit of money. And it was actually really good. It was absolutely brilliant that you could go and do that. Right, a uh, long range, I see. So it's increased range with the different mops. Seeing the, min um, the, the dirt, but, no, we want 50% faster cleaning. And then we've got 375 more cleans to do. Before we get the next one, which, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not that impressed with that. 375 cleans before I get another perk. Seems a bit extreme. It really does. Uh, although, we'll probably earn it fairly quickly doing these kinds of jobs. Because, it, you know, it, it um, you get through them pretty quick. So, we've got to clean one window here. we clean this one right here. Let's see if we can do this a little bit faster now that I'm sort of starting to figure out where the mouse pointer has got to go. And it, again, it still doesn't like um, going side to side. Going up and down seems to be the way to do this. So bring that over. And it does move a, in a little bit of a strange fashion anyway. When, when you're trying to sort of move it around um, to do the next strip, it does move in a slightly bizarre fashion. Yeah, that'll do. Right, uh, we've got five objects we've got to place, and we've got to paint the room pastel pink. So we'll do the painting first. Let's just see what our painting perk is up to at the moment. Cleaning, demolish, painting. Right, 190 more painted walls, and then I can do some. I've got the two walls at the same time, and we don't waste paint. We could either go faster painting or 20% less paint usage. I think we'll go faster painting first. We'll increase that one. We'll go right through that one. And then we'll start worrying about less uh, using up less paint. I think it's going to be quicker overall if we can do it like that. So I want pastel pink. Whereas, there it is, pastel pink. By now, we're going to use at least two tins of this stuff. So let's get another one and plonk it down right next to it there so that it is all ready to go. 
suck up that load there now i've already got doing the two at once which means that we can just kind of glide over things like this and it will go a little bit faster we can now do the insides of the windows in here like this and that does actually count as part of the room now which is i quite like this i do like the fact that you've now got to paint all the way around the window instead of just leaving half of it which you used to be able to do so we'll just drag up another load of paint there and then because we've only got two panels being painted at once it is still take it is still going to take a little bit longer than we have previously been able to do it but it's, it's not too bad you can just sort of keep moving slowly across it all and keeping it all moving um the faster painting is definitely going to help us with this i am wondering actually if we do one faster painting and then we go for a um letting the paint go a little bit further you'll actually you can get more panels done before having to go back to refill on the paint tin and i think that could very well save us quite a bit of time so we go back through there like that i'll drag up a little bit more paint and we can do the inside of the window here like this get that side and do that side there as well get another load of paint so that then we can do all of this i hope right the way across there and all the way along there like that the good thing about this is that those little bits they also count as one section so what you could do if you really wanted to kind of cheat the system a little bit is get two different colors you can now finish i can finish the incomplete order if i want to um i don't know if we will actually i think we might finish this order because we need to buy furniture as well and that's something that we've not really done anything of in the um in this version of the game so we'll just see if there's any differences with that as well uh, but yeah one thing that we could do is just buy like a different color of paint and then keep painting the small patches up there back and forth to different colors and that should speed up the whole process of um like leveling up your painting skill so if the, leveling up the painting skill is probably the best thing that you can do for earning quick, easy money on household orders in this game. Is it, without a doubt, it's, it's got to be. I can't see that there's another way to um, do it faster because you go buy a house, just paint everything. Oh, that one's already done. Um, yeah, paint everything after you've bought the house and you make a fortune on it. it it really does improve the value just running around doing the painting and if you've got the painting perks all leveled up fully painting is so fast you really can you can do it like really insanely quickly it's, it's ridiculous i i only i could only wish i could only dream of being able to paint that fast in real life uh i need more paint this is the one annoying thing about it at the moment this is why i'm thinking we do the 20 percent extra um painting as the next one but also but yeah again i'm still thinking that the faster painting would be good because it takes forever to fill each panel i don't know I'm, I'm spoiled i'm used to having my painting perks all completely maxed out so this this is all I, it's back to basics malarkey is it's rather different for me go over to there and just finish that and then we've just got these small sections along here and painting is done right now let's have a look at my perks new perk after 91 painted wall didn't i have 90 to go wasn't it 90 when i started i'm sure it was oh no it was like 100 and something wasn't it it was 90 on the cleaning thing when we started this house um so yeah faster painting or 20 percent less paint usage i really don't know i am very tempted to buy something and just no we'll, we'll ignore that ignore that we're not going to do that uh, i go up to there and then dispose and uh oh in order to get rid of that one you've got to go down there to the sell objects and then sell it oh you get a refund on the paint you didn't used to get that so now we need five objects we need to place a crib let me go into the store and then you could just search here if you go to all you can do that and just type crib there so we want that one buy now we're, we're, we're gonna go for a white one we're, we're gonna go for white um we're gonna plonk that one down in the corner bookcase cow now this is i can't quite see what all of those are coming up but if i just go cow like that it's, it's oh it's that one there there isn't any more to the word okay so we'll put this one here actually i want to i want to uh, rotate it you can rotate it like that just by bits if you use the mouse wheel 
press shift well it says right there you, you can probably read it just as well as i can um right in the middle of the screen there so we'll put that one there we'll bring that out a bit there we go so we got that one uh changing table cabinet with changing table so let's just go changing table there we go that's the one that we want and we go white and orange i'm going to put that right next to the bookcase right there and uh a poof i i i don't know what color poof that one is that we want um we try there and then we'll go oops not jp p o a poof there we go that one bean bag we always i've always called those bean bags because they're filled with beans um i don't know if it's we got we need another poof okay so we get we'll have two poofs and we put that one down in there there we go all done clean dirt 98 percent tasks in other rooms right which room four or five tasks in other rooms clean dirt this one clean dirt is done this one in here clean dirt is done it must be in the bathroom there must be some dirt in the bathroom what do we got 95 percent there is some dirt in this room where is the dirt where is the dirt we can't see it on the mini map it is not showing on our mini map is it is it behind here it's behind this 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 washer type thing Just looking around i'm wondering if i can sort of hover it over and, and find because it's not showing on our mini map 95 percent it's not on the window it's not around the window on the light no well, where is it? is it? Is it right over on this side of the toilet? Is that why I can't see it? Jumping on the toilet. I don't see... I, I really don't see it here. I reckon it's... Okay, I'm, I'm walking around on top of the radiator, which is probably not the best way to, to do things. Um, it doesn't look like it's coming up. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of looking around. I reckon that the only thing that we can do is move the bath. If I open that door a minute and then I just... I'm just going to you know, pop your bath out of the way a moment. You don't mind, do you? I can't because it's, it's locked in place. I cannot pick up the bath. Okay. Nope, I'm not... We're not playing Thief Simulator, so I can't do that either. Where is the dirt? We're going to have to finish this job without actually doing all of it. You do sometimes have to do this. Sometimes you just have to. There is a tiny bit of dirt in this room that I cannot see. If we had it all showing on the mini-map, we'd probably be able to find it. Uh, right. Never mind. We'll have to just say done. Four and a half grand? Wow. Okay. I don't mind taking four and a half thousand dollars. Uh, dollars? Pounds. I'm so used to playing games where I'm working in dollars that, um, yeah, that, that's, that's where it comes from. Right, four and a half thousand dollars, which is actually pretty sweet. That puts our total up to 28,000. That is a lot more like it. We've got three males here. Additional walls, walls knocked down. Student's house to clean up. Ooh, I think we're going to go walls knocked down. Recently, large rooms have become popular, which is proven by the fact that my neighbor and the neighbor of my neighbor demolished several walls in their homes. I would also like to have several walls demolished in my house. The walls between the living room and the kitchen and the corridor seem unnecessary. What is more, the neighbor from across the street painted the walls in her bedroom with a bright blue sky color, and I would also love to have the same. I believe that such a professional company will deal with my request at very low cost without any problems. Best regards, Anthony Gray. Why do they always believe that I'm going to do it at a low cost? No, I'm not. I'm going to charge you an arm and a leg for this. I am. I promise you, I will charge you more than anybody else. Probably best not to employ me. It's probably best to ask somebody else to do it. Because I, quite frankly, don't want to do this job. I, I just don't, right? This, this is not the job for me. Right, what we're going to do first... Oh, we've got build walls. Build intel... Uh, lintels. Lintels. Intels. Uh, demolition as well right so we're going to go sell objects first and we're going to sell that door and we're going to sell the switch that's immoral how's it immoral i'm knocking the wall down okay i can i can sell that one i can sell that there i have i now need to modify walls zero of 28 i gotta knock some i gotta knock some down right so we, we go to le hammer there it is there's our hammer let's see how this one goes how is because it used to be quite laggy doing this job um however it seems to have improved by can a considerable margin now it's, it's not quite so deafeningly noisy either and it does seem to flow quite well I'm, I'm quite impressed actually the performance increases that they have coded into the game for this particular job i am really impressed with 
that is that is actually really really good that is absolutely brilliant right we have another demolition perk that we can add i just want to punch a hole through this wall first before i add add any demolition perks Ooh. okay uh having the wall fall on top of you is not really what you want i can tell you this with certainty right do we want to upgrade our hammer or go faster i think we'll go faster demolition first and we have another 17 and then we can upgrade so i'm going to upgrade the hammer as, as the next thing that we do so let's just take that one down because, I mean, this hammer's pretty good. I like this hammer. I'm, I'm, I've already become accustomed to using this hammer. And despite the fact that it's an old hammer, sometimes, very often actually, rather than sometimes, um, with tools like this, um, hammer, uh, older, old stuff is best. Old stuff does work um, very well. And, uh, yeah, so uh, we will carry on down through here. Modify 25 of 35 walls. So we should. I'm, I'm actually thinking we may have enough to get one more upgrade. There we go. New demolition perk. Right. This time, uh, we're not going to go faster. We're going to go upgrade. We've got to knock down another 60. But we've got the upgraded hammer. There it is. Upgraded hammer. Now we've got a, a yellow handle on it. How does this upgrade? Okay. I like this new hammer. I do. I like this new hammer a lot. This one seems pretty good. It see, also seems to have a shock-resistant handle on it as well, which is always good. If you're doing a lot of, uh, like, hammering stuff down, it's 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 pretty good. Uh, right, now there's one other job that we got to do. Paint the colours sleepy blue. Right, so we go into the store, and we will go to painting. Right there, paints, and... and oh, sleepy blue, there it is. Right, let's um, block that one down there, and we go to here. Now, how much painting have I got to do before I get a new... It was 90-something, wasn't it? Cleaning is 357. Uh, negotiation, we'll be able to get another one after this. Painting, yeah, i got to do 91 walls. I don't think we're going to do that. Actually, we might. Um, we, we are going fairly well with this. I do think that, actually, my plan of the 20% extra um, is going to be probably the best one that we could do for faster painting. Because I reckon we're going to have to do hundreds of walls after we've done this upgrade in order to be able to move on to the next one so let's just finish that bit there so having the being able to do the extra wall at once i think is just going to be the most beneficial for us all the way through and then we've run out yeah so the, the speed is seriously being impacted by the lack of paint that goes onto the roller and having to buy more tins of paint, that's not a problem. You know, that, that doesn't really matter. Uh, but it's the um, having to turn back to the tin of paint every time and reload. The fewer times we've got to do that, the faster we end up getting through it all. So we can wait for the much faster, the faster painting upgrade. And instead, we will go for let the paint go a little bit further. We'll, we'll only do one. We'll do 20% extra. Uh, you can finish the order. Right, well... What should we got? We're up to 2,300. Okay, I think we should finish this one. Because the, the painting also, it would also mean that we um, upgrade our painting perks as well a little bit, which would be good. Um, but yeah, if we do the 20% extra, and then after we've done the 20% extra, then we worry about doing some of the others. Uh, maybe... I think maybe we'll go faster painting after that. If we upgrade, and then we can do faster painting again. So we're like 50% faster. And then another upgrade on the the actual paint quantity I'm, not, I'm genuinely not sure at the moment i don't know how we're going to play this one out we'll see we will play it out we're going to be looking at quite a lot of this i think we'll be here for a few weeks playing this game because there's so much more stuff that is now available in this game it's absolutely brilliant so i'm i am quite pleased that there's all this extra stuff that we're able to look at and it's not just like three or four houses because i was wondering how much extra would be compared to the beta that we were playing uh what do we got here i need to dispose of that one before i do that i'm going to buy another tin of paint sleepy blue there we go and get that one load that bad boy up and we are away so if we can just finish painting this room here we then get the full i should refill the paint roller yeah yeah, we should be able to get the full amount, which is going to be several thousand more poundses. And then we'll be able to buy a bigger house. I don't know how much bigger, though. It might just be that we can use some... We've got some extra money for, like, doing decorating and stuff like that. And I'm I'm sort of torn at the moment between um, 
like saying that we're going to buy our first house next time or continuing to work through these orders, I'd kind of like to work through all the orders first. And then after we've worked through all the orders that are available, then start buying and selling houses. But uh, yeah, ooh, okay, we got our perk. 25, no, it's, it's this one here. We're going to go with this one, 20% less paint usage. I'm hoping that this works. Wait, doesn't, we haven't really got a place to test it, have we? Um, although you're looking at that paint roller there, it's looking pretty good. Right, order is 100%, 3,411 pounds and 28 pence is now going into our bank account, which means that we are earning ourselves an absolute fortune. This uh, new negotiation skill is available as well. We, um, ooh. Increased chance of successful negotiations by 5%. That's for when we're selling the house. This here, 25% extra payment for the order. I think we'll go with that. This extra payment for the order is a really good idea because it means that when we do um, these jobs, we're getting more money coming in. And I quite like the idea of more money coming in because we got three more. We got 32,000 pounds now. 32 grand right additional wall so that's going to be a building job then the student's house to clean up save me from these horrible colors so there's more painting to do there we're not going to do that today we kind of run out of time for today's episode but well let's just take a look in here can I, can I sell this one i don't think i can um 23 25 25 we've got those three are available to us let's have a look down here Thirty-five thousand. we can't quite afford that one the house with uninvited guests and the connoisseur's house the house after the flood we did actually do that one. The, the flooded house, we've have, we have looked at that one. Um, many generations, home admin legends, uh, home and car, uh, the house that is hiding something, variable woman, boring house, uh, unsatisfying effect. Is this one right here, the garage with bunker? I want to get that one, but it's 85 grand. We don't have 85 grand right now. And we're not even close. But I suppose if we were to buy some of these and, you know, quickly clean them and sort them out and then uh, we send them on their merry, uh, we'd, we'd quickly earn that money up. But I would like to, I'd like to work through those jobs. Um, something that I'm pretty sure is coming in the future, it's just not ready yet, they did talk about it, is yard work. So we will actually be able to mow grass and stuff outside. Uh, but that's, that's all to come later on. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And yes, I agree. It would be pretty cool to come out here and mow the lawn. I would like to be able to do that. So I'm hoping that they do bring that in sometime sooner rather than later. You may plant some bushes and shrubs and stuff out here. Anything like that. But anyway, we'll worry about that another time. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.